Shohei Otani is the guy everyone's talking about. With his performance and the record that he's playing with, it's not a surprise. He's been one of the most consistent players for the Angels, and there's no way they're going to let him go, right? That's what the GM of the Angels thinks, as well as he says that Shohei Otani will not be traded. In this video, let's look at what he had to say, starting off with the silencing. One of the biggest questions that everyone's thinking about during the MLB offseason is where Shohei Otani's going to go. Like, what team is he going to be playing with in 2023? And there are lots of people who have many theories about where he's going to end up, but the people who already have them are adamant that he's not going anywhere. Come on, let's be real. There's no way they're letting him go. A player like Otani doesn't come all the time, and you got to do everything to retain him. While people keep speculating, the general manager of Los Angeles, Perry Manassian, is doing his best to throw some cold water over all such speculation. He had a meeting with reports on Monday where he said that Otani wasn't going to be traded during the offseason, and he'll start the next season as a member of the Angels. That's what Sarah Valenzuela of the Los Angeles Times reported at least. If you didn't know, Otani signed a one-year and $30 million contract to avoid any arbitration for the coming year. That's his final year before he's eligible for what they're saying is surely going to be a very well-paid free agency. And he knows that his value to the Angels is obvious. They're not going to want to let him go anywhere. This is mainly because he was the best two-way performance MLB had ever seen. He was also arguably a better player this year. So why wouldn't he want to go somewhere he could get more dollars for his performance? Next up, truth or lies. Sure, Manassian could be telling the truth, because Otani is terribly important for not just winning for them, but the Angels' final goal is going to be getting people in the seats and eyeballs on the television as well. It's not just important that you have the best player, it's also pretty vital that there are some people supporting you in the stadium and at home, who will be watching your players perform. Is he telling the truth? Maybe, but what he said on Monday isn't any different from what he'd say if he fully planned on trading Otani. Like he was going to tell the entire world what his team and management were planning to do, right? There's no way they're going to have their fans know they're about to trade away their most exciting player, especially not when season tickets are still on sale. If people heard Otani was no longer going to be a part of the Angels, it's very possible that many people just won't buy the tickets to come to watch the game. Players are important to them, but so is business, and people buying those tickets means money and more business. Moving on, the possibility. Not just that, but do they have any incentive to signal to any of the MLB executives and the media that an Otani trade could actually happen? Can you imagine just how many people are going to jump at that chance? Who wouldn't want to take Otani away from the Angels? We saw a related story play out with Juan Soto and the Washington Nationals. The Nationals general manager Mike Rozo had to shoot down the possibility of a trade in June, but when the fire had died down, they sent Soto to the San Diego Padres about a month later. Here we were all thinking that it wouldn't happen, but nah uh So, if you're trading Shohei Otani, the best position to have for the bidders is to think that you're not sold on trading Otani. That might be true, but there are many reasons why the Angels could trade Shohei Otani. If you're trading Shohei Otani, the best position to have is for bidders to think you're not sold on trading Shohei Otani. More on this, Angels bad seasons. You ask why the Angels would want to trade Otani, huh? Well, you don't need to be a genius to see those arguments for the trade to happen. We all know that Otani is an extremely good baseball player. The Angels have been a pretty bad team basically since he got on board with them, and from what we can see, they're going to be bad again next season. They finished this season with a record of 73-89 and are going to need some huge free agent wins, even to improve a roster that already has $169 million in salary on the books for 2023. All things aside, they could and should try to sign Otani for an extension, but it's going to take two sides to make that happen, and Otani's been signaling for more than a year that he wants to test the free agent market. We also have not loyal to the team, so it's possible they may not be able to retain him. When he was asked about the idea of staying in Anaheim for a long time, he said that he wants to win more than he loved the Angels. But then, when he was asked again in July, he went back on his words and just said, right now, I'm an Angel. Do you think those are the words of a person who completely plans on signaling an extension anytime in the next year? No way. But do we blame him? Also, no. Because one of the best players in baseball wants to play in the playoffs at least once in his MLB career. And that's not going to happen with the Angels, it looks like. But it's going to be pretty painful for the Angels to trade away Otani. Not just the management, but also the fans. Still, watching him leave in a free agency for nothing 
nothing but a compensatory draft pick is going to be much worse. It should also not be forgotten that one of the biggest reasons that Otani hasn't already been traded is that the current owner of the Angels, Arte Moreno, isn't a big fan of the idea, and Moreno is right now looking into selling the team. Is he waiting for someone else to pick up the pieces and make something out of them? That's possible. Lastly, what Angels could get from the trade? Well, in short, a lot. The Nationals have five players who are either top prospects or were recently top prospects. Oh, and also first base rental Luke Voigt for Soto and Josh Bell, even though that was two and a half seasons of Soto and nearly half a season of Bell. The Los Angeles Angels have just one more season of Otani available for the highest bidder, but the flexibility of Otani's value is a pretty big advantage for them, seeing just about every candidate with resources could get him. If they were to trade Otani, they'd be announcing their lack of contention for 2023, which means they'll be looking for younger players, and could actually rebuild the team. Now, let's move forward with talking about how Otani talked about adjusting to becoming a two-way player. Let's start with the great player. He may look like an expert right now, but he didn't just wake up one day and become a two-way player. Since he came into the league, Otani's become a household name not only for Angels fans, but for all the sports fans around the world. With his charisma and insanely good performance, he's made himself known everywhere. And just like that, he's become the greatest two-way player in the history of the MLB. But it took him a little time to be able to master the art of pitching and hitting together. Next up, a star in the making. Otani put it all together in 2021 on the way to becoming the 19th unanimous MVP in MLB history. He finished with 46 home runs and 100 RBIs on a 257 batting average and pitched a 3.18 ERA with a 9-2 record. Not just that, but he also had 156 strikeouts in 23 games. And believe it or not, he was even better in 2022 somehow. He's become a heartthrob and has found his way into stardom pretty quickly. Now, how did that happen? He told the reporters how that became possible for him. Last of all, his techniques. He said that for pitching, he thought that adjusting was just about getting used to the ball. So what did he do? Rather than becoming accustomed to how batters react, he thought the most important thing as a pitcher was to pitch to his strengths. And although we aren't the best pitchers and baseball experts, even we can see that sounds like something that would work. And apparently, it works pretty well for Otani. He continued to say that, as a batter, if he were to compare, it'd be difficult because the pitches were faster and more intense. To him, it felt totally different. At the start, spring training was terrible. He said that they reminded him about it a lot. That's it from our side for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or thoughts about Perry Manassian, the GM of the Angels, saying how Otani won't be traded, let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one.